Hi, my name is Victor and today I'm going to show you how to randomize family types in Revit with Dynamo. So as you can see here, this is the sample project from uh, Revit. Although I changed the facade here, the curtain wall. And one cool thing in Revit uh, 2018 is that you can actually run Dynamo and uh, you can do pretty much anything now in a, in a perspective view. So this is a realistic perspective view. I'm going to run Dynamo and show you um, how does the execution of this script uh, work. So. Uh, I'm going to open the script and I'm going to show you everything in detail later but first I'm going to demonstrate uh, how wh what does it do basically so I'm going to hide this panel and this is a slider which controls the color panels of this curtain wall We'll turn this to automatic. So this is what it does. It changes. These are just the regular curtain wall panels. This is the color panel. And it has uh, five uh, family types, which are randomized here. And it, I really like that in Revit uh, 2018, I can just uh, do this in perspective view. Uh, but also one other cool thing is uh, I can actually open a real-time renderer, such as Enscape. And it's going to load. And look at it in even more realistic way. So I can just move around here and walk in the room, bump into some furniture, <laughs> go through the door, look around. and look at these panels from the outside. And if I minimize, it's really better when you do this on two screens, two displays, but in order to show you, I'm just using one. So if I minimize right like this, or put it on another screen. I can actually look at both Dynamo and the Escape. And it's going to load the changes now. So it's really it's really an immersive way to see your design iterations. I really, really enjoy this. Let's look from the outside and change it again. Yeah, cool. Very cool. And it, depending on your hardware and how many open uh, programs you have at the moment, you can uh, achieve even you can achieve better results with this. That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to close Enscape for the time being. 
and show you the script. So how does it look like here? Uh, first, I have a categ categories node where I select curtain panels category. Then I get all elements of category. I use this node element dot parent family, which is from the package rhythm. And it gives me a string with uh, the names of the family. And I check if the name is color panel because I only need this family. And I filter it with fil list filter by bool mask. Then I get the count of those panels. There are 48. And I use uh, element set parameter by name because the type is a parameter of each instance and actually if um, I connect this all of the 48 panels are going to be blue now as you can see here and if I select another family type they will change to the other family type and right here in this example the family types are only different in colors but uh, you can use uh, all different family types that you can actually uh, I can try to load the double glass uh, door but it's uh, not going to work I guess in all these dimensions but yeah we can try and now we have yeah it works we have all these double doors <laughs> loaded as panels here let me change that back to blue. And now the reason it doesn't work is that these panels here, they all say system panel and not color panel because I changed it. So let me undo this and change it back to blue. Run. Okay, so how to do the randomization? There's a really nice note. I really like this randomization note. It's from lunchbox it's called sequence dot random numbers so we have several inputs you have minimum maximum so all your numbers are going to be between these two values here the number input is how many of those numbers you want so that's why I use in, I use the count here and the seed is the different uh, pattern basically the different uh, uh, randomization so uh, the output of these are numbers which means doubles from 0 to 4 so I'm going to, I'm rounding this with math.round to a whole number and then I'm using a dictionary uh, so I can set each of these family types to correspond with a number from one uh, from zero to four and how to set up a dictionary in Dynamo it's actually really simple and I'm using these two lists I'm using the list of uh, five family types and this list from zero to four actually I'm going to show you quickly how to do it here so let's say dict2 from uh, list uh, numbers equals list uh, letters. So if I get a list of numbers from 0 to 
it's from zero to four and the list of letters from a to e actually to small e and it's going to be clear if it's actually from one to five here and then i have to code this dictionary to code you just type the dictionary name and those brackets and another input i'm going to call it input it's going to appear here so if i put a watch node here and i type one it's going to say a if i type two it's going to say b etc and if i type um if I input a list like uh, from one to three, I'm going to get A, B, C. If I type two, four, B, C, D. So it is the same thing here, but I don't need to type this as an input if I know that it's going to be one to five. I can just type one to five here. It's going to work in the same way. Uh, in the same way, I don't need an input here. This is the dictionary in one line. But here, in our case, we get this list here. I'm using a code block, though it's going to be exactly the same if we use list.create. five inputs um, the only reason I'm using a code block here is that I can get these names as inputs so now I have these 48 different numbers from 0 to 4 as an input here this is the dictionary here I code the dictionary from random and here I have 48 instances 48 family tabs so I can just connect this to the value and these types are going to be assigned to our panels here and then we can change the seed which means different combinations of random numbers and you can use this for all different family types. It doesn't have to be a curtain panel, so it could be anything. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, evening, or whatever.